Hey everyone, welcome to the State of the Market Real Estate Address. My name is Erica Despain and I'm the owner and editor of All Things Madison. And what we like to do every single month is come on here and create a video where we have professionals speak to the non-professionals about all things real estate. And this month is a treat. By the way, it is September 2022. This month is a treat because we actually have a guest with us today from Hometown Lenders because when you are buying a home, you need a fantastic real estate agent, but the next Next part of it is you are going to need a lender, right? For all the money stuff. So we just love to use this series as a way to get on the level of all of our local buyers and talk Madison, Alabama market. So here with us today, we have Bo Miles. He's the owner and broker of Essential Real Estate. And we also have Logan Hoffman and he will introduce himself as well. He is, Logan, tell us a little bit. You are the assistant director of Hometown. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I run. A, <laughs> um, so I run a branch for hometown. Um, we are my branch specifically is licensed in five different states. Of course, the majority of those, you know, the business we do comes from um, the Tennessee Valley. So you guys have a we're, big we're, footprint we're, in the area. So yeah, yeah, we we enjoy it. We do we do our um, hometown okay. actually started in Hazel Green. So. Um, that's okay. where I sit every day, actually. But of course, we work anywhere. We work, yeah, we work I know that Madison, you too. guys, I see you guys all over Madison and know a lot of people that have personally used you guys here in Madison. So excited to have you on with us today. All right, Bo, let's talk numbers. <laughs> let's do it. Real estate from the time we started in January all the way to now, yeah. it has been like this. Coaster. Take us, uh, give us some objective facts, right? What are we seeing on the market? What's going on? Let's go. So, like always, let's dive into stats. So number one, here's where we got to start with. How many are on the market today, right now? And again, just I always like to, pre we live in an engineer society. So uh, we are looking at the last 30 days and we are looking in just Madison City. So it's not just yes. September, it's not just August, but I like to always clarify what we're actually looking at. Uh, but yeah. as of today, 316 homes are on the market. If you remember last month, 318 homes were on the market. And just so you know, in 2019, there were 238 homes on the market in that same 30 day period. Now, I like to go back to 2019. We've been talking about it because the last two years, uh, and Logan, I think you'll attest to this, were quite the anomaly in our industry. And so I, I think a lot of people have gotten used to 45 offers on a property and have gotten used to waving appraisals and going crazy and interest rates are negative. I don't know, all these crazy things, right? Well, that actually isn't how it is now and it wasn't how it yeah. was before. And so let's go to kind of a, a good comparison is 2019. Uh, I always like to compare pending sold and contingent houses. Um, so let's do the same thing. As of today in Madison, 320. Now here's a little fun fact. Last month, 389. So we actually see a little bit of separation there, not much. Um, but in 2019, there were 218. I do like to kind of give a, a disclaimer. Part of the reason that we do see a difference in the 2019 numbers and now is because the builders weren't putting as many of their houses on the market at that point because they were just selling them spec as people came into the homes. Well, now and our MLS has a good bit of houses that are coming through builders uh, that are put in yeah. there. So we're kind of seeing all of that in because they just changed how they did it. So I can't say that's the total difference. That's a big difference. Why do we have a difference in sold, contingent, and pending? Um, I'm going to – I'll toss it to Logan at the end of this to tell you my opinion is this, is that it means houses are going to sit a little bit longer. They're getting a different interest rates now, so they're – higher end houses, which Madison has a little bit higher end property value than other places, sit a smidge longer. Again, I don't want to create panic. We're still selling quickly. We're still going quickly. Everything is still going very, very, very well. So Logan, I don't know if you want to jump in on that, but that's kind of what we're seeing here right now. Yeah. Um, I mean, the main thing that we, what I would hit on is 2019 is probably the last normal year um, because in 2020, 2021, you didn't really have to be an advisor, right? Like, especially from our side, you know, you could go out and if you deliver good service, close a loan on time, but that's what those typical things anyway. But now um, with the houses sitting, like you're in a little bit more of a buyer's market, you're working up a little bit more numbers, you're maybe getting some seller credits in there. Um, 
but you're also advising on the rate, right? Everybody's yes. scared about the interest rate, um, <laughs> but they go in cycles. So yeah, they're a little bit higher right now, but they're already saying in the first quarter of 2023, they're going to drop back down. So um, that's what we are advising on right now is, yep, you may have a little bit higher payment. It's the house you want. Go ahead and marry it. I know it's a little cliche to say that. I looked it, it up, okay. um, Erica, just so you know, yeah. I looked it up. Uh, average okay. rate in the U.S. today, 5.89. We're yeah. still under our long-term average by a good point and a half, two points for, for what we've had. Okay. Uh, I, I looked up in 1981, the average rate was 18. That is so, I mean, that is, it's, we can our, we cannot fathom that, right? Yeah. It's so well. Hey, Logan, question for you. The number one reason that for me, again, as the non-professional that I hear my friends and family say, I'm not moving right now, I'm not buying anything right now, is interest rates, like point blank. They are not buying because of interest rates. What do you say to people who that one thing that you help them handle, they're saying, I'm out? Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, yeah. what I just said, marry the house, take the rate, right? So you're getting your dream house. Right. Yeah. You may be paying. And if you look at it, so we're back to 2021. So waving appraisals, but I just hit on that. Yeah. You're, you're waving that appraisal. The ha now the house is going to praise yes. probably because that got wonky too. So you're paying $600,000 for a house. Whereas now you're probably paying 500,000. Yeah. So it offsets, right? Yeah. You may have got a 3% interest rate, but that a hundred grand is going to offset really good the 5% interest rate or the five. Like five yeah. Right. So then, you got that right now. So six months from now, rates go down low fives, um, mid fours, another couple hundred bucks. So Please. yes, get in the house you well, want. And that, and something, and that's it. such good advice. Go ahead, oh, no, 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 I was just going to say something else has happened that I, I would love for Logan to touch on. They took conventional rates and I'm, I'm going to try not to bore people with this, but they took conventional rates and there used to be a mount of money that you could just walk into the bank and say, I want a conventional loan. It was around 600 something thousand. I don't know the exact number. Logan will mess, give me that exact total. But they took it last week and they raised it to over 700,000. What that actually does is this. That means you don't got to have to, what's called a jumbo loan. What actually that is happening is the U.S. government is saying yeah. house prices are going to keep increasing. We see they're increasing. Do not be afraid of the housing market, yeah. even if the rates are going up. They're actually kind of content. They're throwing higher rates to slow it down, but they're showing us that they believe strongly that the market is going to get better. Yeah, and that's that's absolutely right. So it went. They, they did a ten percent increase up to seven hundred fifteen thousand. So that's now, of course, FHA, USDA, VA. There's no loan limit on VA, but FHA and USDA are the same. Um, <laughs> but they will probably they're a little bit slower, yeah. but they're going to increase too. Um, so, but what that does mean is you can literally go and put 5% down, I think on a $750,000 house and get a conforming loan. So a jumbo loan is just more difficult, it's more red flags. It's just a lot simpler to get a conforming conventional loan. That is huge. And that's huge. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a game changer yeah, yeah. for people, right? In certain, yeah. in certain price points that that's awesome. That's why I'm so glad we have you on here today. I mean, because you combine having a good realtor representing what you know your bought your purchase but i mean the rate stuff is for all of the purchases that we have personally made i mean that person is the one that really that final number we're paying is in their hands logan we've been in situations before where we're talking to a lender and they say hey this rate is going up tomorrow we need your stuff right now why is that how i mean is that what we're truly seeing where like depending on the day you call absolutely yeah depending on the hour i mean so the the way we work is we're work off more back securities so which of course that's the stock market it's all that stuff right so when somebody gets scared when the stock market gets scared they start selling everything off or rates rates can jump like that i mean within i could be quoting a and this is figurative, but a 5% and then it go to a 5.5% from the morning to the afternoon. And it could, it could flip too, right? So um, the, the biggest thing that drives rates up is inflation. So everybody gets scared. The media goes out, <laughs> oh, the Fed raised their interest rates. It's terrible. Not really. Not for mortgages. Now, if you're going to buy a car, a credit card, something like that, yes, you're going to have a higher rate. 
But every time the Fed goes and raises their rate, mortgage rates are going to drop. So we're kind of sitting over here quietly clapping whenever we see that 75 BIP or 100 BIPs or whatever, because it's going to allow us to offer a okay. lower rate for that day. Um, That's good. And so we watch that pretty closely. Um, we have a software called MBS Highway that we literally get text notifications Man, as the market. That is a fast paced industry right there, especially now. Hey, Bo, yeah. question for yes, you. Yes, ma'am. We have people here in Madison, say they live here right now, they own a home, they want to buy another home, or obviously we have an influx of people who they're looking at Madison. They want the Madison City Schools for whatever, you know, whatever reason they want in Madison. What is just one good piece of advice for potential buyers that want to buy in Madison City right now, September 2022? Uh, don't be afraid to move. And and I mean that like genuinely. I You know, when you find your house, when you find the one that makes sense and feels right, buy it. There's a lot, okay. you know, in 2021, it was a lot of, yeah, this house will do. And we, we just kind of got them in and we fought for them. And I think I've told you, I've had like one guy who offered t on 10 houses before we got one. And so yeah. like, it was hard. It was brutal. Yeah. Now you're actually able to kind of sit back, check out a house. But when you find it, don't assume it's going to be there for five more days. It's, it's going to go. On. It's still going to move. Okay. And so don't be afraid to move. Have your pre-approval ready. Have all your finances in order. Stop buying couches on credit cards in the middle of this thing, the whole game like that. <laughs> Good <laughs> so, advice. But be ready so that when the right house comes, yeah. you go. The first thing I do before I take anybody out is I get them to a pre-approval so that we know okay. what they can afford, when they can afford it, and how they can afford yeah. it. And so that is my thing is get yourself ready to go because when it comes, you don't have three weeks to wait. You're going to still have to make a quick decision. So just don't let the panic and the terror uh, make you think that the market's dead because it's nowhere near dead. That's so good. Hey, Logan, for people who are just beginning the buying or selling process, um, at what point should they reach out to you at hometown? At what point in, in the process of a new home should they say, all right, I've got to call Logan? I mean, we'd love for them to reach out to us first, right? Um, and I, most realtor partners would too, because like Bo just said, it, we are going to know, right? Like we're going to know, they're going to give us all their documents. Now this is a perfect scenario. It doesn't happen like this, I'd say 90% of the time, but um, we're going to be able to give them, we do a full, you know, usually a DVD underwrite. We're going to know how much they can truly afford before they start house hunting. So that when they do find that house, like he just said, they're ready to jump on it. Like hey, here's my letter. And the cool thing is going back to technology, you know, we're always going to pre-approve them for the max amount, but you don't want to bring a letter into that. You know, you want to be a little bit educated, bring a letter for the sales price. So um, our tech allows our realtor partners to change that amount as long as it's lower than that max approval. So they don't even have to wait on us anymore if they don't want to. So it's just, you know, coming to us first or, you know, at least the next phone call after you speak to your realtor is That's what good. I would recommend. I mean, you know, to you guys, it may sound obvious that these are the, the steps of progression you should take to do it well. Sometimes you don't know. Hey, guys, th there's a reason that I have both of you on here today. Um, when you are navigating difficult things, such as the biggest purchase of your <laughs> life, you need people on your side who you can trust and who also are just super experienced in what's happening. So I appreciate um, both of you joining me for this September State of the Market Real Estate Address discussing Madison, Alabama. If you have joined us for this today, I hope that you found this helpful. I hope you discuss it at the dinner table tonight, and I hope that it makes you feel more confident and informed in your real estate um, and lending decisions here in Madison. I'm going to put the information, both websites and email addresses for both both Bo Miles and Logan Hoffman in the captions for this. So please reach out to them. They'd be happy to advise you if you need an agent or a lender. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. We'll talk to you Thanks soon. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you all.